Yo, 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 what's up? So in this video here, we're going to talk about how to set positions, um, how to set multiple positions on your chart using your, your uh, from your trading platform. I'm using Trader's Way for this example, so it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. What you want to do on your chart, it works even on like your regular chart. So let's put up a regular chart just for argument's sake. Um, so once you're in here, this is pretty much what your chart's going to look like, more or less. Let's take this line out. So it's nine period. Boom. Um, all you simply want to do when you're in here, if you're, let me set this up a little bit. I hate not having these charts together. I'm just putting this in moving averages. Throw one more. Three input. I need this to be yellow. All right, boom. All right, so let's say any mother indicator. Boom. Bam. And then put this one in there. Bam. All right. So let's say, for instance, like with this one, I wanted to put a position in, like, um, let's say, like right here. All right. Let's do the 50. I don't want to do it with the 50. So I do it right. Blue. And then go with. Boom. Input 50. Boom. Okay. All right. So let's say. Yeah, one more thing. GG. <laughs> It's getting funny. Corner number two. Okay. So this is basically looking to be a cell, right? So if I wanted to put a position in here right now, I would just right uh, right click, click on trading, and then go cell. Boom. It enters the position, but it's a pending order. You can't do this on on your cell phone, so just be mindful of that. So, boom. It's a pending. Well, actually, you can, but it's a little more complicated. I'd rather do it here on the on the trader because I can see it and it's a little easier. So basically, um, once this is in, you just want to right click again or double click on it, and then you could drag it too. You could drag this. Uh, you could drag it to modify your entry, and then you just double click on it, and it brings up, you know, the uh, what you call it right here. Hold on. Price is too close. All right. This is a. Uh, uh, or you can right click and go modify order and then you just put in your stop loss so this is a this is sell order so if I put my stop loss in I'm just gonna go like way up there and then I might take profit I'm just gonna do that like way down here real quick and I don't care what it is because I'll be able to adjust it right here so I can just drag it boom and then just drag my stop loss boom and then on here it tells you how much is it if you hover over i think only when it trades that it tells you how much the profit is it tells you right there on the screen how much the profit is how many pips that you're going for same with same with this right here boom 24 dollars uh negative you're risking almost 500 pips so pretty simple pretty straightforward and you can do this for multiple positions so if you wanted to do another one just go trading and then, and then that's something to keep in mind. See how it says my lot size right here? It's going to coincide with whatever lot size you have set right there. So if I just go 0 .01, or, yeah, 0 .01 and then I go boom, trading. So you can go buy or sell. Or I can just put, it, put an alert. I just want to go sell, stop, boom, modify. And then same, same thing here. Boom, boom, boom. Take profit. Modify, boom. Ain't going to matter because it's right there. But that's is, that's how you do it, and you want to delete it. Just delete order, boom, and delete. Hold up. Delete. Simple as that. So what will happen when you do that? Let's say sometimes I do that if I'm a little tired. I want to go to bed. I will um I will go ahead and this is GU. I will go ahead and put those positions in. Before I go to bed, I'll put in a buy stop and a sell stop. And that way, I'll put my stop loss in. So if price goes up and it's a buy, it'll hit my entry. And I'll put a few of them. So that way, if it keeps going up, it'll just hit all my entries. And then I'll put a trailing uh, and stop losses in. So it'll be good. And then same with the sell. If it's going in and I'm selling, it'll go down, hit my entry. So I could do like, for example, I'll do like, boom, sell stop. Hey, right, boom, sell stop. Like, I'd, I'd say like probably do it like 20, 30 pips away from each other so that way as it starts to keep going down if it's a sell, going up if it's a buy it'll continue 
as price hits this this level, it'll enter that trade. It'll enter this trade and enter this trade. And if it bounces back, it'll hit my. That's why I like to use a trail and stop loss, cause then if it comes back 10 points, 15 points, it'll get me out the trade, and I won't lose much. I'll still be in profit. So it's just something to keep in mind. Um, when you're, if you want to kind of set this up, this works great if you, you know, you, you, your your schedule's really tight, but you know you have like a very small amount of time every day that you can sit down and get on the charts. This will work really good for you, so that way you know you can get your get your pips, get in, get out, and be done with it, and move on to the next thing, like right away. So, um, take action on this. Don't sleep on this. If you want some more help trading forex or learn more about the indicators that I use on here, let me know down in the description. Um, there's a link. Click on it. Also, subscribe. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. You know, it does motivate me when you guys subscribe, like, and comment on these videos because it does. Uh, I do read the comments, and I do, um, I do read the comments. I do respond, and I do do my best to help you out. Reach out, also reach out to me on Instagram if you got any questions. I'd love to help you. I'm gonna get in this trade, even though it looks bad. I'm still gonna get in. I'm just gonna make some money, so sorry, but I'll just show you. Uh, yeah, reach out to me on Instagram. I love to help you. Uh, I think sellers got the market anyway. So let's see. GD trend bar. It's a bad time of the day to trade. Don't ever do this. See, but I'm just scalping a little bit on the five minute. Just scalping, put that in. I'm gonna put a trailing stop loss, 20 points. Boom. And I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> just put it in and walk away. Yeah, it's gonna be, a, it's a seller's market anyway. So you'll see later on. See how this is just going down? Look at that downtrend. GU downtrend. Right? Um, yeah, boom support resistance it's going to break that it's like we test in this area um, yeah if you got any questions you knew the forex you're trying to learn you're trying to you know network with some people that actually know what know what they're doing I can help you actually get some results definitely reach out to me I'd love to help you um, get you know some, some good results with your with your forex trading so you can start to you know understand how to read the charts how to actually make money each and every single day just by using your cell phone or just using a charge like this. So hope this helps. My name is Leonidas Gates. Click on that link down below. Subscribe, like, and do share this video. Thanks. Peace.